thank you so so much. Of course, it's another it's another moment. Of course, uh, that we have. As I promised you earlier, that we are going to focus our energy and uh, look on the five factors that those couples, as we discussed on our video previously, uh, that uh, the factors that we can put in place in order to ensure that their relationships are strong and of course uh, they can move on. One of the factors, of course, uh, they uh, they have to uh, focus on the issue pertaining time. Time is is of utmost importance. Of course, the white man said that time waits for no man. Of course, uh, as a couple, as people who are in relationship, find time, find time for your loved ones. Just create ample time of course, of chatting them, uh, asking them how uh, have you reached your workplace, how have you taken lunch, how are you proceeding with the hours of the day. You just know the whereabouts of your couple, of course, by doing, by doing so, excuse, by doing so, of course, you will be strengthening your relationship, your marriage. Time is very important. If you create time for your better hand, of course, believe me, you will be uh, doing a super exciting uh, thing unto your marriage. You will have respect. You, you will make the bond to be strong and so on. So the first factor, it is create time, create time for your marriage and also relationship. The second point, it's about uh, the social media. Of course, uh, social media is not bad. Of course, we use social media to get information, to be uh, uh, enriched with uh, information, education, and we get to uh, come into contact with a lot of things that we didn't know. So, upon the social media, just use social media as a platform that will help you uh, move forward, but not to destroy your relationship. Your relationship is, is uh, uh, of much importance than the social media. When your husband comes in the evening, embrace him, tell him, darling, welcome home. How has been your day? Of course, uh, uh, after embracing your husband, help him with uh, removing if it is the coat, if it is the jacket, help him if it is the briefcase. Of course, he will realize that he's been treated in a special way. And of course, he will have hit that jacket. So time, time, time. Number three, point number three. Of course, in this world, in this 21st century, no one likes to be uh, to be taken for granted, you know, taken as an optional, no one. So I appeal to you, just treat that your partner with utmost respect, like somebody who you treasure, but never take him for granted, never take her for granted. She was meant for you, he was meant for you. So that is the reason as to why you enter into that uh, uh, beautiful uh, institution that God blessed. Respect your partner 
and he will respect you back. Going to number four, we have uh, money. On the last video, we saw money is uh, whereby if there is lack of money, it can trigger that particular relationship for a particular couple or group of the couples to go their separate ways. As a man, of course, we African uh, men, uh, according to our tradition, of course, we are the one to provide for the family. So as a man, this is a task. And even the Bible says a man has to uh, to sort, you know, just to ensure that you find just a decent job to do so that you can maintain that uh, inst institution that you find yourself in. And uh, I fail to understand people, and so youth, most of the youth uh, that, I, that I have encountered, and we have shared one, two, three things, of course, you find a youth telling you that uh, there is no job. I wake up early in the morning daily, and uh, I don't find a job. You see, let me challenge you, and this is, uh, of course, many people will not agree with it. I'm telling you this evening that they, they, there are plenty of jobs out there. Just start from somewhere, any job, don't mind about what people are going to say about you but mind about what God says about you you know you know I've gone through a lot and of course on my side I've been ready to do any job that is available and not because of desperation but it's because uh, I know that if I do this job today, tomorrow, I will not do it because nothing is permanent. So, I challenge you that you go and start from somewhere so that you can improve your living standard and the living standard of your family. Last but not the least, of course. Of course, we we had discussed about uh, being creative, and this goes to the ladies. Of course, uh, ladies, be creative. Know how to cook. For your husband, you know, uh, if you go to a, a country like uh, China, the Chinese ladies believe that men are supposed to cook for them. But in African traditional culture, uh, ladies are supposed to cook for their family. So there is a challenge to you, and uh, it is the painful truth that if you don't know to, uh, you don't know how to cook of course you are pushing that man towards the wall to go out there and find and look for somebody who will cook for him to avoid that of course you have to pull up your socks pull up your socks and move what are your doing if you know what are your duties, of course, uh, you will not fail in your marriage. You know, uh, some ladies, 
because they don't know how to cook they end up bringing uh, house managers in the house and this is a task that I'm leaving for you this evening if you bring a house manager into your home you yourself you don't know how to cook and the house manager uh, cooks very well what do you expect of course and that brings me to the next uh, topic that I'm going, I'm going to discuss with you people about the house managers these people I treasure them uh, a lot I, I love them and I pray for God to open their doors of course they uh, so not to uh, the day after tomorrow if they do the house manager work today tomorrow they will find another job all together so our next topic is about the house manager otherwise don't forget to subscribe and hit that notification uh, button goodbye